Hello, my name is James from Rare Americans. Uh, we're gonna talk about some tour tips. It's important to A, always have a good place to stay. Uh, I remember a couple times when we toured in the UK, um, we showed up, I think it was in Nottingham, and we showed up at the hotel that we booked and I went to the front desk. We were so tired, uh, we'd been driving for a little while, and we showed up. And sure enough, I booked the wrong hotel in a different city. Uh, so I looked on the map and I realized that the city that I booked the hotel in, I think it was called Derby, and I think it was like an hour away. So we obviously didn't want to do that. We were so far away from the venue and everything. So uh, I took a big loss on that one. And then I had everybody was so hungry. Uh, I was like, shit, I need to find a place for us to stay. So uh, I went on this road that had a bunch of different little hotels and hostels and literally just knocked on the door of each one trying to get some availability until we found a place that had enough room for six of us. So uh, I recommend that you double check the places that you were booking. So so you don't end up uh, homeless. Another tip I would say is um, try to uh, exercise a little bit if you can. Uh, obviously you get good exercise when uh, you're playing shows, but uh, I think if you can get out and go for a little run, it's also a good way to see the city. Uh, and it keeps you just, keeps your body moving, keeps your mind, you know, occupied. Sometimes on the road you can get pretty tired when you're going kind of from city to city. Um, and I think exercise is a good way to kind of just energize your body uh, and when you're spending, you know, 30 plus days with uh, the same group of people, sometimes you can get a little testy. I feel like our group's pretty good about that, but I think just, uh, you know, working out your muscles and letting your mind go a little bit is, uh, it keeps a, a good energy for yourself. <laughs> Mix up uh, your food. Like, you know, obviously when you're trying to keep within some kind of a budget, or at least, you know, we are when we're on the road, um, you know, you can't always eat at from the grocery store. Eventually you just get sick of eating um, cheap sandwiches. So I think you gotta mix it up a little bit. Um, go to, you know, a half decent restaurant and, you know, have a good, good time with everybody and, you know, maybe spend a little bit more than you typically would on every meal. Um, because I think when you're going to all these different cities and different cultures, it's important to also experience them. Um, so I think we have a pretty good balance of, um, you know, going, having some nice meals, getting a taste of the culture and, uh, and kind of the local, uh, cuisine. And then also, you know, not splurging on every meal where, you know, we run out of money when we're on the road. Also, I think that uh, it can be pretty easy to, after every show, when there's fans and they want to hang out and they want to meet you and, uh, you know, you want to go drink 25 beers, uh, it's probably not the best uh, thing to do, especially if you're on the road for a little while. Um, you can pretty quickly burn out or... Uh, hurt yourself, which uh, we had a band member after after one one evening. Uh, <laughs> we don't know exactly what transpired throughout the evening, but the next morning he kind of started. He was just hobbling. He looked like he needed a cane. We we're like, oh shit, what happened? <laughs> uh, so injuries can happen on the road, uh, and if they happen on stage, that's one thing. But if they happen to something totally unrelated to a concert, uh, you know, that's something entirely different. So. Uh, make sure that you take care of yourself. Uh, obviously, I mean, you got to have a good time and, uh, you know, it's a, it's a kind of a crazy lifestyle. So, uh, you got to balance it out a little bit. You can't go hard every single night. You got to get your rest and, and get your sleep. Lastly is prepare yourself for what you're getting into. Um, you know, a good example is, uh, we toured the UK and I'd never driven on the other side of the road before. And we had a van that we were driving. So it was like one of those Mercedes sprinter vans. So it wasn't like a car, uh, and I accidentally uh, was reversing. I didn't exactly, you know, quadruple check enough, and I bumped right into a car. Uh, that sucked. Um, I ended up leaving a note on the guy's car, but nothing really ever came of it, so I kind of got lucky on that one. Uh, but I put a bit of a dent into his car. Luckily, it was like a 1992 Honda Civic or something, so... 
Um, yeah, so definitely whenever you're going to a different country, prepare yourself. Uh, maybe get a driver if you can afford it. Um, anyway, we all took turns, and luckily no one got seriously hurt. But uh, yeah, so prepare yourself for whatever country you're going to. Uh, also, another little small tip, we were in the UK and we were playing in Wales, and I didn't even honestly realize that this town we were in was actually in the border, past the border, and it was in Wales. And I made a joke that the national food in um, in England was chicken tikka masala because we started really liking this food. And someone in the audience yelled out to me, he's like, you're in Wales, mate! And I was like, oh, fuck. There was just no coming back from that one. Uh, so double check, make sure you're in the right city. Uh, and don't ever say, hey, Nottingham, it's good to be here when you're actually in Manchester. Uh, I didn't do that, luckily, but I could see if you're in a different city every single night, it'd be easy to make that mistake. Um, so make sure you double check, you know where you are. Find out a couple facts about that city. Uh, people often, I find the fans are appreciative when you've done some research about where they're from and you know a little bit about the city. Um, so yeah, make sure you kind of do your homework. Yeah.